Now to your community focus. He's back on the job today after a bout with COVID-19. Joining us live via Zoom, Warwick Mayor Frank Pocosi. Mayor, thanks so much for joining us today. Hi, how are you? We are great. First and foremost, the big question for you, how are you feeling? I, f I feel 100%. I've recovered fully. Um, I didn't have it that bad. I had a few bad days, but that was it. That is certainly good news. Um, Mayor, you know, something that I've been hearing from people who are getting COVID right now, they're feeling not only a little surprised, but also defeated, maybe both, particularly people who are following all the protocols like we're supposed to, and people like you who are both vaccinated and boosted. So I'm curious, what emotions went through your mind when you got the diagnosis that you had COVID-19? Um, well, my daughter had gotten it who lives with me and then my wife got it too. So I was expecting it. Um, I was, I was taking care to stay away from other people. Uh, you know, I wasn't surprised again. I, I, I'm with a lot of people every day, a lot of events, things like that. We've cut down on them, but, um, I'm surprised it took me this long to get it. Good attitude about it though, especially <laughs> considering the work you do. I'm um, curious if we can talk a little bit about the schools in your city. You know, there was a notice that went out last night regarding vets and windmen saying that students are returning unless there's a big change in staffing there. Uh, what does the picture look like in the city schools right now? Uh, I think it's status quo. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it got worse. They're having a lot of staffing shortages and there's been a shortage of, uh, of uh, substitutes all year anyway. So. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more of it um, coming out of the holidays like we are. So, so what is your message to parents, then mayor, just sort of stand by and, and see how this goes? I know a um, lot of folks are, are concerned. Stand by and be prepared for it. I mean, have alternative plans. It's unfortunate, but um, they can't control the staffing uh, problems. So you, you just have to be prepared and you're not going to get a lot of notice sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't sound like there's uh, an easy answer to, to a lot of the issues that are facing the school systems right now. Um, a big question that we're hearing a lot about is where to get tests. What are you hearing from residents? Are, are people frustrated about the lack of testing? And, and what's your advice to folks about where to get access to those tests? You have to be persistent. I mean, go on the, on the state portal, uh, find home tests. I know a lot of people, a lot of stores um, have them and then they're out. So a lot of people I've seen from social media, they just keep calling the stores all day. I was able to get a bunch last week too, just by going over to Walgreens and asking if they happened to have them and they did. They had just gotten some in. So I, I bought the limit so we could have them around here. Yeah, call around that has certainly worked for, for folks. Um, what about, is the city holding any or planning to hold any vaccination or testing clinics? Well, we're not currently planning, but I, you know, there are no tests available anyway. The state doesn't even have them. Um, you know, I, I'm sure they, they have an adequate amount of sites, but we just don't have the product. If you had access to those, is, is that something that you would be willing to facilitate? Because I know the last time we heard from the governor, he said, you know, the municipalities need to step up and help out with this. Um, well, yeah, I mean, like I said, we, we need the resources to do. We need the product and, and the resources. Um, our staffing, even the fire department, police department right now is uh, it's getting bad because people are coming down with COVID. So, you know, I, I would have to know the product and we'd work probably together with other municipalities. I'd speak to my emergency uh, management director and see what we could do. But uh, as I said, the tests just aren't available right now. Hmm. And I have no idea when, when they're going to become available. Yeah, that is, the, that is certainly the million dollar question. Uh, Mayor, shifting gears just a little bit, you told the Warwick Beacon that you'd like to set aside some of the federal coronavirus relief money and allow each councilor to hold ward meetings to decide how to spend some of that money. Uh, first question, is that still the plan? And second question, if so, how much will each ward be getting? Well, it is the plan. Um, I was thinking about $200,000 per ward. I mean, it's not going to be to the penny, but I think that's just the best way to get it down into the neighborhood to where you know, the things that we miss, the playgrounds, uh, missing fences, park benches, things like that, uh, the things that usually aren't in the budget we can't anticipate. Um, the councilmen know their wards, and, you know, I've spoken with them. They're very excited about it. It's a great way to get it out into the grassroots parts of the city. All right, Warwick Mayor Frank Picosi, we are glad to hear that you are in better health and have fully recovered. And thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy first day back to chat with us. Thank you very much.